Does this sound like you? You're tired, you're gaining weight, you're losing some hair, or your, your hair is dry, your skin is dry, maybe your skin has rough patches, you've got joint pain and achiness in your muscles, you're depressed, constipation. If any of these sound like you, you really want to pay attention to this video because what we're seeing is um, post-COVID, post certain infections, uh, we're seeing an increase in what's called autoimmune thyroid disease. It's called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So what is autoimmune disease? It's when your immune system is attacking you. So in the case of Hashimoto's, it's attacking your own thyroid. Of course, a healthy immune system doesn't do this. An overwhelmed immune system, an overtaxed immune system, an immune system that's gotten what's called hypervigilant, then is making mistakes and is attacking self instead of the bad guy. Now, certain viral loads can do this, meaning a viral infection. Um, and, and that's the topic of today's video, but I would remiss, be remiss in not reviewing the fact that the thyroid does tend to be a bit of a magnet for toxins. So again, a high viral load, mold, heavy metal, uh, these things tax the thyroid very, very readily. And uh, of all the autoimmune diseases, and there's over 100, Hashimoto's is the most common. Women are more predisposed uh, to autoimmune disease at a three to one ratio, it's estimated. Uh, and autoimmune disease, generally speaking, is, is really on the rise. So the reason I bring this up is that we really do a disservice to ourselves, uh, the, medical, the medical community does, in that it does not test for thyroid function very well at all. So there'll be a general test called the TSH, uh, which is just um, your brain telling your thyroid to work. <laughs> and the reference range, or what's considered the normal range, is from just less than half a point, so 0 0.45, to a range of 4.5, so uh, almost 5. So th that's what's considered the reference range. But here at root cause and generally speaking functional medicine doctors like a much more narrow range of about one to two sometimes a little bit under one not much so that's considered the optimal functioning range so what that can mean is you can come back with this tsh number four and your doctor says fine there's nothing wrong with your thyroid now what's the other problem is that they don't measure for the autoimmune component meaning showing that there's what's called antibodies attacking your own thyroid. Now, why do they so rarely test for this? Because the justification is that it costs money to run the test and that their treatment would not be any different if they knew about the autoimmune disease versus not. So why would that be? Because they're just wanting to treat thyroid function. The truth of the matter is you can have in the early stages autoimmune thyroid disease, Hashimoto's, and still have quote unquote pretty normal thyroid function because these antibodies that are attacking your thyroid have not done enough damage to Im impose enough damage that thyroid function now comes up abnormal on a test. So the problem is that it's going to do enough damage. So wouldn't it be lovely to catch it early? Um, you'd be having symptoms, but then they tell you your thyroid is fine, missing the entire aspect of the autoimmune disease. You're told that autoimmune disease really doesn't have a cause. There is no treatment. We completely disagree with that. We've been doing this for 40 years, and, and it does have a treatment. And I'm not saying we always reverse all autoimmune disease at all, but have we reversed Hashimoto's? We have. And the earlier you catch it, the better, because what's happening is that your immune system is so overburdened and overtaxed that it is mistakenly attacking self. It only therefore makes sense that you can unburden your immune system. It will settle down and it will stop attacking self. And I know that sounds very simplistic and it actually truly is. So that's what we've seen with patients is all of a sudden that that antibody level that's really high in the blood has now normalized, which is a beautiful thing. Because when you have one autoimmune disease, you're about 10 times more likely to get another. And of course that makes sense because your immune system is so overtaxed. Now it's gonna start mistaking other parts of your body 
as something that should be attacked and that is not a pretty picture. So um, I would love it if you would share this with others. You likely know somebody who has these symptoms that we started the video with. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe, share it with others. Uh, these are things that really go under the radar and, and it has to do with this narrow focus that um, conventional medicine has where it's looking for these tests that are just sky high and then say, oh, okay, now we'll, we'll do a more in-depth test. And when it comes to thyroid, the thyroid affects so many parts of your body, it's incredible. And to have this antibody situation, uh, autoimmune situation, where it's slowly degrading the function of your thyroid and can be prevented and restored the function, um, it's really a shame. So uh, this is not a hard test to do. Uh, labs all over the country do it, all over the world I'm sure do it. And uh, But if you want some help, if you're in this state where you're like, oh, I, I have all these symptoms and my doctor's not helping, please reach out. That's why we're here.